Watch me turn this single product photo into three professional ad creatives in under two minutes using a railway template I built that connects Open Web UI with NA10 using MCP. There's no photo shoots, no models, or expensive agencies, just one click deployment and AI automation that actually works. Let me show you exactly how. I'm in Open Web UI, and this is my product picture that I want to create the ad creatives. So I will go into here and turn on the tool. This tool will connect the front end to my NA10 backend. And then I'm going to give it a prompt. I'm launching a new product on my online store. Here is the product picture. And I wanted to create a new product uh, ad image based on this product picture. And the first segment is for young professionals. So I'll go and create that. So it's created this uh, ad creative with the product integrated into this picture. Next, I'm going to use a different segment for Mums on the Go, and we'll ask it to create for that. All right, so it's integrated that product into this visual here for this market segment. And then the third is for eco-conscious consumers. I'm gonna create a ad creator for that. And it's integrated that within this product here. So how does this work? So this is my railway template and it has different components that it creates when you uh, deploy it. So I have this open web UI component, which is deployed and it creates this chat front end. So this is the future rich chat front end that has all the history and a lot of capabilities. Next, it calls into this intermediate layer, which is called MCPO, that uses the MCP protocol, model context protocol, to communicate with NA10. And the end to end instance here then implements a backend that uh, has this flow. So it has all the different kinds of capabilities. So it has the ability to generate an image. So it, when we generate an image, it goes through this workflow using the uh, new uh, Google Nano banana uh, um, image generation model. It has the edit capabilities to edit a image. Uh, we also uh, have hooked it up to pixel search, which gives us a uh, search to stock images. Uh, we have created a perplexity internet search tool as well that allows us to search the internet and then also a tool that uh, allows us to remove backgrounds from image. So all that is running in the back end here in NA10. Let's go ahead and deploy this to see how easy this process is. And then we'll walk through the specifics of the NA10 workflow. So I'm in the railway dashboard and I'm going to create new. And in this new project, I'm going to go template and I'm going to search for open web UI. And we're going to have a component here that we've created here called open web UI MCPO NA10. I'll select that and it's going to have everything already pre-configured, all the environment variables, all the uh, connections between all these different components, they're all set. So we're going to just deploy. And this will deploy all the components and have all the connections all set up after the deployment. All right, so we'll come back after five minutes. Now, five minutes later, all four components are deployed. So if I go to open web UI, click on here, this URL will take me to my open web UI that is already deployed. And I can just set up the uh, admin account here. And if I go to the NA10 instance, I go here and I can go set up the admin account. And I just have to expose this MCP. I just go here and there's a setting that I need to update. So I'll do that. Make the port 8,000. Update that. And now I'm able to see that. So uh, this whole setup is now configured so that when you call this, it's going to uh, call the MCPO and MCPO will be linked to the NA10. So this is all set up and pre-configured right from that uh, one, one click. All right, now let's take a deep dive into the NA10 workflow. So I've set up the uh, new instance and I've imported this uh, JSON file. 
So what we see here is at the beginning here, a MCP server trigger. So this server trigger is uh, the connectivity, uh, serves as connectivity between the Open Web UI and NA10. So uh, there is a path here that we set called starter. So we set that, uh, that's how uh, the MCPO knows how to talk to this endpoint. So we do that here, starter. And then what we do here is connect uh, all the different uh, tools that we're exposing to Open Web UI uh, through this trigger here. So you can look at the trigger here, it's connecting to these different tools. All right, so let's take a look at these tools in, in turn. So the generate image, if I double click in here, uh, it's coming from, uh, if I go here, it's coming from call any 10 workflow as a tool. So we're using that and we're configuring. So it's, this tool is used to generate images and it has uh, image prompt type and uh, it doesn't have a image around because we're generating a, a, tool, a, a image from this. So what we do here when uh, the Open Web UI uh, requests uh, to generate a image, it goes to this MCP server trigger. It realizes that there's a generate image tool and this calls into this side of the workflow. So this will populate these input fields here. So image prompt uh, type and image URL. And then it'll go and, and uh, have a switch here. So the switch will decide uh, where it will uh, go to. So in, in the generate part, it'll go to this part of the switch. So it'll go through here and then it'll hit this endpoint. So this is a HTTP node. So this HTTP node uh, is, a, is a regular one HTTP node here. So we just grab it from here. And we're using uh, a service called Replicate. So if you look at replicate.com, there's a lot of different models in here, a lot of image models, video model, uh, video models, uh, language models, a lot of uh, different tasks you can do with upscale images, remove backgrounds, uh, transcribe. So this is a rich repository of all different things you can do with large language models. So this is really, really, really cool. So what I've done here is uh, taken uh, the uh, Google Nano Banana, so it's served off of here, and they have uh, run with an API, and I go to HTTP, and I copy this here, and I go to here and import curl, and then paste the curl command in here, and this will uh, get me uh, this info here, right? And then I just use the API there. So I, I do this, and then it returns a URL at the end. So I return the URL with the generated image. So similarly, this is the edit endpoint. So again, it's using the nano banana uh, image model, and we use the same process. And but in this case, we pass in a uh, image input because we're editing the image. So again, uh, we're adding in here the tool, uh, call this tool to edit image or gen generate image based on existing image. And then so um, you can it says, you know, pass it a, uh, a URL to the image to be edited, right? So we do that here. So this goes through this path as well. So we've also uh, added this uh, remove background. So this is just to showcase that there's a lot of power in terms of the flexibility that you have with the, the replicate model. So uh, I went into here and looked at the models for remove background. So I picked the most popular one, this one here. And then I went through the same process of run with API. And we did this, copy this into here. And then uh, similarly, HTTP you know, import curl, and you have the, that capability built in here. All right, so we have the ability to generate image, edit Im image, uh, both through Google's Nano Banana uh, uh, models. We have ability to remove uh, background. And then uh, th this one here is um, uh, called pixel search. So pixel search is a stock image service. So you can go into here and uh, it'll give you all kinds of stock image and, and it's free. Uh, it, that's one of the cool things, but it's it's 100% free. And I've I use I'm using this service to uh, search for a stock image, and I just go get an API key from uh, Pixels, and then I've incorporated that into here. And lastly, here I'm using uh, Perplexity. So this is the internet search. So I'm using uh, Open Router and an account through that to use the Sonar Reasoning model. Again, it's also through the HTTP tool, and I'm creating that uh, in here. All right, so um, one, of the, one of the most powerful things here is that um, I'm able to add in as many tools as I want. So I can choose any of the tools here. 
uh, and choose all the different kinds of uh, different kinds of integration that NA10 has, and all of that can be exposed uh, within your Open Web UI. So it's very very powerful. So the last thing we're going to do is set up the Open Web UI. So I've selected my uh, admin account and I've logged in, and I get this. So, all right, so I'm going to go into the admin panel. I'm going to go to the settings and go to the connections. And what I'm going to do is set up uh, my open router account. So I'll go into here, change my base URL, and then uh, add my API key. And then I'll save it. And this will give me my connection. So this will give me my access to open router. And then the next thing and last thing I need to do is just connect to tools. So this is my tool server. So I go into here and I go back to uh, my railway copy this address here. This is the connector between uh, my open web UI and, and uh, NA10. So I'll go in here, HTTPS colon like this. And then uh, I'm going to put starter at the end because this is needed for the MCP endpoint. And then I'm just going to name it NA10 tools. And I call this uh, my Google Nano banana. All right, and I'll test this, make sure everything's good. So it's successful. I save it. I can save it as private or I can save it as public. I'll save it as public. So what this allows me to do is uh, make it accessible to all the users on my uh, Open Web UI account. So this is actually multi user. So whatever I set it here, I can make it available to myself or to others. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's all the settings you need, and uh, uh, then you'll be running end-to-end. Uh,